Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how I was able to create these heatless waves on my hair. And frankly, this is like a trend that's been going around for a while. I've seen a bunch of these videos on Instagram on girls using like a bathrobe to create the waves on their hair. And I wanted to try it out. And honestly, I tried this method out a few days ago and I love the results that it gave to my hair. So I just wanted to make this video and share with you guys how I did it. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys already seen these kind of videos. But if you're like me and you're late in the game all the time, then you know, I guess I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can also create your own nice beachy waves heatless style with just a bathrobe, like a bath, like not bathrobe, but like a bathrobe belt. And that's basically what I did to create these nice waves on my hair and it took like little to no time at all. And this is a method that I've just been using if I wanted to style my hair and it just turns out the way my hair would turn if I was using a an actual hot tool. So here's how it looks close up. This side is a really good side. I don't know. Um, this side I probably could have made a little bit more tighter around the ends. But by all in all, I love how it turned out. So I'm going to share with you guys how I did this amazing, simple hair tutorial for you guys. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to spray my hair with water so that I can achieve a better wave pattern. And then just comb all that out to remove any knots. And then I usually like to go in and add some of this Satana hair mask oil just to give my ends a bit of revitalization. Then I'm going to take this hot shot hairspray and spray that onto my hair to give the waves a little bit of control and long last. So when doing this method, since it calls to part the hair down the middle at the back, I like to part it in a zigzag pattern so that when I take the belt off and let the waves down, there isn't much of a parting separation at the back. Now I'm going to clip one side of the hair away while I work on the left side first. So now you want to take any bathrobe that you have. And for me, I'm going to be using this awesome leopard print one. Since it's a bit too long, I'm basically just going to fold mine in half. And then I'm going to place it on top of my head like a headband and put a clip on the side that I won't be working on so that it doesn't slip away. To begin, take a section of hair from the front and cross it over the belt. And then bring it back under until it's at the front again. And now I'm going to incorporate some sections of hair from the back and bring that under the belt and gather it with the section of hair that I have at the front. And before I twist that around the rope, I'm going to grab the other section of hair at the front and then bring all that over the belt and twist it back underneath until it's at the front again. I hope that this doesn't sound too confusing for you guys. If you just watch the method, I'm sure you will get the pattern. And just repeat the same steps. It's sort of like doing a French braid when adding hair to the strands and then crossing it over. As I twist, I'm somewhat directing that hair more to the back so that the waves are incorporated a little bit better. So I'm going to continue doing this method until there is no more hair to add. Once I get to the end, I'm basically going to twist the hair and belt till I reach the bottom. Yeah. 
and I'm going to secure that twist with a clip for the time being as I work on the other side again. As I come to completion of this twisted method, I'm going to combine the ends of the two twists and clip it together at the back of my head. If your hair is longer, you definitely can keep it tied and secured on the sides. Now that I've completed this step, I'm going to leave it on my hair for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes is up, I'm going to take that hot shot hairspray and spritz my hair a bit before releasing the twist. And now it's time to set them free. As you see, I'm totally digging these waves. I just love how easy and completely effortless this way is. Now all you got to do is play around with it until you achieve your desired look. You see how the back doesn't have that split down the middle? That's why using a zigzag part is crucial for this specific method. To finish off my style, I'm going to take this Kevin Murphy Touchable Finishing Spray and just spray that as is, giving it a little bit of texture. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that is it. That's how simple it was to create these really effortless beach waves on my hair. Like I said, this is the method that I'm going to be going to for a while because, you know, it's, I guess it's just more healthier for my hair. I don't want to put too much heat or anything on my hair right now. So just by using the bathrobe belt, it just kind of creates that perfect wave. And um, when I put, when I do put it on my hair, I don't leave it on overnight or anything like that. As you saw in the video, I did try that and then the curls were just too curly. And it was just a little bit too much because my hair is short. But I'm sure if you guys have longer hair, you kind of want that more curlier effect. It'll look nicer. But it wasn't the look that I was going for. So I only kept it on for like half an hour. And it just kind of created the nice waves on my hair that I normally always like to have when styling it normally. So yeah, that's it. It's super easy. And I'm glad I came across this little trick, this little tip for styling hair. Because, you know, it just kind of saves me time when getting ready. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this, you guys know the drill, like it and subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already and also check me out on my Instagram account. All of the information will be in my description down below so hope you guys check that out. Other than that guys, I will see you guys in my next video.